I bought the Starlink Mini in June 2025 and now we are in December 2025. That is six solid months of daily real life use. And in this video, I'm going to show you the full honest breakdown of how I've been using Starlink and how it has performed for me. Exactly how much data I have used, how much I have spent and what surprised me the most. What frustrated me in the use of Starlink and why? Because of you, I have now ordered the Starlink standard. I hope it comes this late December or early January. So this is not a hype. This is real Nigerian usage. Let's get right into it. Hello guys, welcome back to AY Excellent Tech. So why did I buy the Starlink Mini? Why I bought it in the first place? When I bought Starlink Mini in June 2025, my problem was simple. It was not because I wanted to create content. Cellular internet was inconsistent upload speeds were painful i mean it's like you're doing something and then it's not actually bulging because i was staying in an area before where mtn network was very okay only that the data um consumption or let me say the price i was paying for data was a little bit too high but then i could shoulder the responsibility so i was okay but i got to an area where within the space of three months i needed an airtel 5g smart box i got that also and it was not actually bulging in fact that was terrible during the day it was fine at night it was a problem peak hours were definitely a nightmare for me and data costs were becoming unreasonable seriously unreasonable now i didn't need the fastest internet in the world i needed something stable and so i was discussing with a friend he said i should get the smart box i got the smart box and later he advised again and said i should get uh the Starlink. Now, Starlink has been in my radar for quite a number of uh, months, but then I was thinking it was too big an investment to make at that point. Now, the Starlink Mini looked like a good middle ground. I mean, because at this point, I already have the MTN, I have the Airtel. There was lower upfront cost than Starlink standard, so I decided to go with the portability of the money and the portability or the gadget unlimited data it also come with unlimited data and completely independent of nigeria network masts of course no downtime apart from once in the last six months so i decided to test it not for one week but for real life usage and while i was doing that i decided let me tell my story so that was how the story of Starlink began. My daily experience over the last six months. For the last six months, Starlink Mini has been my primary internet connection. Daily usage includes YouTube uploads, video streaming, browsing, Zoom and online meetings, general home and work use for all my smart gadgets around the house. What I noticed immediately, speeds are not always crazily high, of course, but they are consistent. Consistency is the key for Starlink. Latency is generally low, and that is fine for those of us who upload video. Upload is far more reliable than mobile networks. Peak hours don't affect it the way it affects MTN, Airtel or Glow. Once it's working, it just keeps working. That is it. Looking at data usage, because this is where Starlink Mini completely changes the conversation. My Starlink billing cycle runs from the fourth of each month to the third of the next month. Now. My actual monthly data usage taken directly from my Starlink account, June to July, that is my first month of usage, 1.17 terabyte. July to August, 1.59 terabyte. Are you calculating that now? August to September, 2.09 terabyte. September to October, 2.33 terabyte. October to November, 3.03 terabyte. November to December, 2.73 terabyte. And of course, let me check what I'm using currently. Uh, my subscription, let's check that. I'd like to show you that my current data usage from December now, this is December 26, Boxing Day. All right, so I've currently used 1.94 terabyte. For us to calculate all that in perspective together, in six months or thereabout, I've been able to use 14.88 terabytes, going to 15 terabytes, which of course I know by January 4th, it would have gotten there. So there's no single billing month where I use less than one terabyte of data. Some months I cross two terabytes, and one month I cross three terabytes. That is crazily high. Now, this is not speed test. 
this is streaming uploading downloads real work and um, everything in between now let's put that in nigerian context most people struggle to afford 100 gig per month i was doing one to three terabyte every month without thinking about it because it is unlimited and it is just fifty-seven thousand naira talking about cost breakdown the real numbers the real money that i have spent now because unlimited data only makes sense if cost adds up Starlink mini subscription in Nigeria is 57,000 naira per month. And um, from my payment history, now in June, I paid 57,000 naira, which of course is not in payment. You know, I told you guys my first month on Starlink was free. It was a credit that was given to me. So maybe after purchasing, I just got the credit and then um, it, was, it was added to my account the moment my first billing came now of course if you also want to get your second month free subscription you must buy with my link if you buy with my link now you're going to get free month subscription that's going to be your second month subscription when you obtain or get your starlink mini or standard through my link you can do that right away with the link on the screen or in the description of this video in july i paid 57 august the same september the same october the same november the same and uh, that's around um, 342,000 naira for six months now also of course i paid in december 4th so still 342 because the first one i didn't pay for it I, it was given now here's why starlink surprised me i've received 171,000 worth of service credit the first one and two more months after one month free when i initially bought the mini and two additional 57,000 naira credits in december from referrals so as i'm speaking with you right now i have two months already credited i've used one out of the three total that i've been given and seven more months yet to be credited mini i'm not going to pay anything in the next nine months on this my mini account that is peace of mind now let's connect this usage if i try to buy one to three terabyte monthly on nigeria mobile networks even at a very conservative 1000 naira per 10 gig that's hundred thousand to 300,000 naira per month and i tell you if you are in a place where mtn network is very okay you will finish that one terabyte within the space of i mean two months thereabouts there was even a time i was using like 100 gig in a week yes i do streaming every day i stream every day so you see why i go with starlink every time and any time so i pay 57,000 naira flat and now i'm running on credit for my type of usage starlink mini didn't just make sense actually it actually saved me money starlink mini is not perfect let's be very clear on this now i'm not saying that i've gone like i, I I'm, I'm using the best network in the world i'm only here to tell you what i've experienced over the times i've been using it now the real downside power dependency no light no internet unless you have backup you saw the video i did as regards the starlink mini using my diy power house to be able to power the starlink mini for 30 hours you can check that video it's just right here i'll put it right here on the video so you can go and watch that now if you don't have light if you don't have power in your house it's going to be a lot of problem mounting matters bad positioning affects performance occasional short outages it's rare but i mean it happened once so there is also high upfront cost customer support is mostly app based so if you chat with them they chat with you they respond with you and that is all you can get so this is not magic internet this is a real internet it's just a very good internet for me if i must say and if you ask me what did i do to improve the performance because for starlink mini the the router is inside the dish outside so to get the best of starlink mini i had to do a few things proper outdoor mounting clear sky view no trees no obstructions somewhere that is close to my office stable power via inverter backup i had to spend another huge sum of money let me say around 200k to be able to do that router placement optimization none of my router is close here now the other the the new router the router i bought with it i mean the one i had to purchase to be able to extend my network is in the dining so once this was sorted performance became 
very stable. So anywhere I'm, I am in the house, I can actually use Starlink very well. Someone will say, now that I have the Starlink Mini, why am I ordering the Starlink standard? Now, this is the part many of you asked about. Why did I order Starlink standard? Even with all this credit on my Mini, three reasons, I must say. You ask for deeper comparisons that I cannot actually get. You want me to, I mean, probably do the standard versus the Mini. And of course, there's no way I could have got that, gotten that done. There's higher performance headroom, which of course to me is still a promise. I have not experienced it. So I cannot say anything as regards that. Standard gives more room for every uploads and future growth, content and work growth. As my workload increases, I need more capacity and flexibility. Starlink Mini proved that Starlink works. Starlink standard is simply the next step. Maybe I will still get the performance, but I doubt if I will. Now, if you may ask, who should buy the Starlink Mini? Let me be very clear. You should consider Starlink Mini if you live in an area with poor cellular internet. You want truly unlimited data. You work remotely or stream a lot. You are tired of data anxiety. You can afford the upfront cost of Starlink Mini. You have backup power because if you don't have that one, you will suffer as though you have no internet network provider. So you should not buy it if Airtel and MTN works perfectly where you live and you browse likely. Because if you browse heavily, you will pay for whatever you are using. And if you don't have stable power, don't buy Starlink. Apart from if you are going to create a solution for that. My final verdict on this issue and after my six months of using, Starlink has proven itself for me. It is not cheap, but it is dependable. And in Nigeria, dependability is premium. Something you can rely on something you can get back to and you can say yes. Now, recently we had a program and um, I took my ODU out there for the program to be able to stream it online. And for the first day, you imagine when you're talking and what you have spoken comes five, five minutes after. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but then it was coming slowly and very bad. So I had to take my Starlink. I came home, unmounted the Starlink and took it there. We never had any network EU since then till the end of the program so if i say that dependability is premium it is premium for me now there are two things i'll be doing again i'll be doing a full styling standard review including comparison with all the network i have had now uh, there's a story concerning the mtn fiber x they are still owing me money because i purchased i ordered for it and i've not gotten it delivered due to the issue that they said it's not in my area and of course they are supposed to refund me. They have not refunded. It's going to a month now. They have not refunded. So I'm still waiting for them to refund me my money. Also, for those of you that want to do business with Starlink in an area where there is a business area and not everybody can afford Starlink, you can afford it and you can actually set it up for them. I mean, I'm not saying setting it up for everybody. Buy a router and then spread the network to as many people that will subscribe. I will be doing a full content on how you can get this done in anywhere you are in Nigeria, whether with the Starlink Mini or with the Starlink Standard. If you want me to do that, please put it in the comment section. I'll give you the cost breakdown and everything you need to know about that. Now, so if you have any question as regards this particular content, please drop them in the comment section. Share your location, experience and how the internet has been treating you in 2025 like subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye for now catch you